Officers say Canines on West Devon was broken into, into sometime early this morning. Liquor stolen from the bar for the second time in just a month. Now, Fox 32's Nate Rogers is the only reporter speaking with the owner frustrated they got hit again. Nate? This local bar has served the Rogers Park neighborhood for half a century. Right here, same location, this brazen burglary happening in broad daylight. The owner now frustrated. Well, what do you do? I mean, what do you do? Because that's the big question. <laughs> oh, wow. Inside Canines, a good old pool game, everything needed for your favorite cocktail, and a comfortable space to unload. Outside, the front doors boarded up. They busted it from the bottom. Uh, it's amazing that the person did not get hurt because this is very heavy glass. The burglary happening around 8 a.m. here along North Devon with many folks out and about. The streets were busy. People were out here. They saw it happen. The owner believes the thieves were inside for just a short period of time, breaking through two of these tours, then once inside, taking several bottles of alcohol. It's the second time in a month. There's also liquor that they took. Um, they did not create quite that much damage that time. Kaneen's late husband, Steve, opened the bar in 1972, building many of the tables and chairs himself. He also created this telephone booth, now ATM hub, allowing patrons privacy. He found it very irritating <laughs> that people talked on their cell phones when they were in the bar because they felt he felt like you should be talking to each other. <laughs> Others shocked by the crime, the owner of this rug and furniture cleaning business beefed up his own security due to rising incidents in the area. Crazy. It's getting uh, insane around here. Need more police. Although still open for business, Mrs. Kaneen now with hundreds of dollars in damage, about $500 worth of liquor stolen. It's like you would give somebody a hundred bucks to not do this. And throughout the day, officers have been going door to door, business to business to retrieve surveillance video from some of the cameras posted here. Police tell us no suspects are in custody at this time. In Rogers Park, I'm Nate Rogers, Fox 32, Chicago.